You shouldn't leave me alone here, Ben. Can't leave me. That's the last thing I heard Tom say. Because then I got so far away I couldn't hear his voice between all the screams and shouts of the savages trying to get him. Oh lord, oh god, those savages got him. Those bastards captured Tom. I already knew he couldn't run away. Tom wouldn't be able to keep up with me. It was a bit overweight. That's why I brought him along. You're a good friend, Ben. You're my pal. I'm not your pal, Tom. But you helped me escape. Yes, you did. I'm telling you, I'm not your friend. You helped me get away. Tell me, Tom. Have you ever hunted a boar before? No. Imagine two boars running away. And then the hunter releases his hound after them. Which boar do you think the hound will chase first? I don't know. The bigger one? No. The one that's not running as fast. And I think right now we're just like those boars. Do you think I'm a slow boar bun? We'll find out when the hounds show up. Tom was this slow boar. I couldn't help him. There were too many of those savages. It's been a long while that humans have turned into fierce, savage beings that live to hunt healthy people to tear them to pieces. Today, when I got out of the building with Tom, I managed to gain upon two of those savages and kill them with my axe. But then many more of them appeared, so we had to run. And ultimately, they got Tom. Oh my god, poor Tom. Suddenly, I heard a voice behind my head. Someone was following me, taking slow steps. I turned around, terrified, but all I saw was a shadow. It had just hidden from me behind a tree. Hey, you can't hide from me like that. Come out and I'll show you, you brute. I carefully walked to the tree. Just when I got there, I heard another sound. Something was moving in the dark. Then something heavy hit me from behind. I collapsed. I felt a great pain on the back of my head. I couldn't tell what it was, but as I hit the ground, something pierced my back. I tried moving to the side, but that thing passed on my back and I couldn't move. I was pinned to the ground, face down. That soaring pain behind my back was unbearable. I was in so much agony, I felt dizzy. Then in sheer horror, I heard a strange voice. I got him! I found a piece of shit! And right after, I felt wrapped in the deep, soothing drowsiness. Everything slowed down just like a dream. I was able to see the rest of the savages in my groggy state as they were running towards me. I was literally paying no attention to the pain in my back, as if all this was happening to someone else and I was miles and miles away. And then all went black. Nothingness. All right, uh, good, you're awake now. Where am I? Same place you ran away from yesterday with Tom. Doctor, is that you? Good, it looks like the drugs did work. What's happened? What's going on, doctor? You and Tom tried running away from the asylum last night. You also wounded two guards with an axe, Ben. We were able to catch Tom in the yard, but you managed to climb over the vault, jump down the street and run away. Good lord. Thankfully you couldn't get too far away. The boys managed to find you and bring you back to the asylum before you would hurt anyone else. 